Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how we can work with the random class and generate some random numbers. Let's begin. To work with random numbers, we'll need to import the random class. At the top of our Java file, we will import java.util.random. Much like what we do with the scanner class. We're going to follow a similar pattern for creating a random object, much like a scanner object. We will type the name of the class, random, the name of the random object, random equals new random. So random random equals new random. Let's say we have an integer, an integer variable of number. I'm going to assign our number variable equal to, and here's where we'll generate a random number. We will take our random object, then we will use the next int method. This will generate a random number. However, there's one issue with this. I'm going to print our number. The number is going to be very large. So the random number that's generated, it's going to be within a range between just about negative 2 billion and positive 2 billion. I'm guessing you don't want a number that big. So within the next integer method, we can set some bounds. If I would like a random number between 1 and 6, like I'm rolling a dice, or die, I would say 1 comma 6. This is actually going to give us a random number between 1 and 5. The first number is inclusive, the second number is exclusive. No matter how many times I re-roll this die, I'm never going to get 6. Since this number is exclusive, I'm going to increase this to be 7. That will give us 1 through 6. And there's 6. Let's say this time you would like 3 random numbers, you're rolling 3 dice. Let's say we have number 1, number 2, and number 3. All integers. We'll assign number 1 with a random integer. And we'll do this with numbers 2 and 3 as well. Number 1, number 2, number 3. Then we will print them. Number 1, number 2, number 3. 2, 4, 6. 2, 3, 4. 2, 2, 5. Good enough. For random numbers between 1 and 100, the second number is going to be 101, because it's exclusive. So now, we're generating three random numbers between 1 and 100. Not only can you generate random numbers, you can generate random doubles. So let's set this back to be number. Let's change the data type and number to be double. We're going to use the next double method. This is going to generate a random number between 0 and 1. Just the decimal portion, really. You can also generate a boolean. This might be good in a situation where you need to flip a coin. Let's say we have a boolean of is heads. When we flip a coin, is it heads? Random dot next boolean. Then we will display if the coin we flip is heads or not. Is it heads or it's tails? That's true. It is heads. Now it's false. It's tails. We could even use an if statement. If is heads. If our coin flip is on heads. Let's print heads. Else we will print tails. So this will simulate us flipping a coin. getting a lot of tails. Alright everybody, that is how you can generate random numbers and use the random module in Java.